Hello everybody, Karen here again, the homeschooling coach and founder of Project Karen. Today I wanted to talk to you about the things that you can do as a way to learn on the road. My daughters and I spent two and a half years on the road learning through discovery and it was the most interesting process we had ever experienced. world as a means for education, it's extraordinary. My daughters and I learned through discovery on the road for two and a half years. And we have grown and learned and experienced so many amazing things that have truly changed who we are. Today I want to go over a couple of little tricks that you can do to learn on the road and kind of try to duplicate subjects without the need of a curriculum. First, I'm going to go over math. So math is a very interesting subject because it does apply to a lot of the things that we do on a daily basis. There's three things that I use on the road to help my kids learn math. One is budgeting, two is business, and three is savings. Now, all these three require them to do math equations, sometimes without even realizing. For budgeting, one of the little tricks I use is we love coffee shops, so I get them a gift card for a coffee shop. $20 gift card, they have to figure out how to split it, they have to figure out what they can afford, what is more, more economical, and you know, also do that mindset of what they rather do. Do they rather splurge on one big ticket item or would they rather buy a few cheaper things? Then for business, they love saving for our trips. And we take either one week breaks to three week breaks. So during the breaks, they create a little business that they can do to save money and they have to calculate how much money they want at the end and work backwards to figure out how much money they need to make every week to meet their goals. So that's the way they do math. And the last one is savings. We save into six jars and each jar has a percentage. So then they get to play with their percentages. That way they know how much money to put in each jar. So those are the three ways that we do math while on the road. Of course, we have more intricate ways and we pretty much use math in a gazillion ways, but um, those are three easy ones that you can implement right away. Then for English, language arts, or any of those reading, we love to visit libraries. So that's one way to keep up with their reading. It's really interesting. I feel like in every area, libraries tend to carry a bit different stock. So they're really interested in like, looking around and finding new books that they haven't seen before. Especially my oldest likes manga, so it's really fun for her to look for books in every library that we go to. And then I also have them keep a journal of our travels and write down little experiences that they have along the way. And um, sometimes we attempt to incorporate this into the business aspect. So they might turn the journal into maybe a YouTube video or they might take the journal and turn it into an ebook. We kind of try to combine all the things we do to just make it a little bit more organic. Other areas of study like science or social studies and things like that, the places that we visit are where that is at. So in the Grand Canyon, there was geology all around us. We also had a bunch of history. The Grand Canyon National Park has several museums within it that tells you the history of the park. So every place that we visit, every museum, every um, landmark has a bunch of history. And a lot of the places even have people working there that had grandparents or great-great-grandparents that actually experienced the history. So. Their accounts are so unique and so interesting and not what you would find in a history book at all. 
You also get to experience the culture, which is history on itself, the way it has mutated throughout the ages and the way that um, two cultures can collide and create a new one. And we could also learn science through the weather patterns and the landscapes and the atmosphere and doing experiments like melting cheese in our dashboard. <laughs> Two pieces of bread, a piece of cheese inside, you leave it on the dashboard at 100 degree weather, and voila, you have a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> so learning is really organic, and world schooling is just learning through life, learning through the things that you experience, and learning organically through what is required to be part of society. Totally recommend it. Of course, I go deeper into all of this in my programs or my one-on-one -on -one coaching, but I hope this was helpful. If you want to know more, you can always reach out and ask, and I'll see you in the inner circle.